morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be trying a ton of new things. Um, so, you know what, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. So the main part of this video, we are going to be trying the Morphe X uh, Jeffree Star brushes. So I got mine from Valentine's Day. My man's got me these and um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, outside of the brushes, we're also going to be trying a few other new things. Um, that's why we are uh, naked face. So we're going to be trying the brushes. I have a new concealer here from ColourPop we're going to be using. Um, I have it in Fair 08, the No Filter Concealer. So I'm just going to show you this real quick. It comes like this. I got mine at um, Ulta when I was in Hilton Head. And then an eyeshadow palette in one of my three lip products here I still need to try. Um, and I'm going to be trying it, the Nubian uh, palette by Juvia's Place. I just have a really big pile of stuff over here, guys. It all needs to go. So here's the palette. Uh, my sister actually got me this for Valentine's Day, a nice neutral palette. So we're going to be using all this stuff today. I was trying to jump steps. I was skipping a part to record. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, cardboard piece away. And the brushes come in this really nice bag. It's kind of awkward, uh, though. But it is a nice, it's a pretty nice bag. And it says Morphe X Jeffree Star on it. And you get the seven brushes. Um, I'm going to be using the eye brush, eyebrow brush now um, to do my eyebrows. And then you get two eyeshadow brush, a highlight brush, a contour brush, and a powder brush. And I think this is a foundation brush. I haven't used a foundation brush in a while. Maybe I should use one today. So we'll actually probably use that. And this is a powder brush. This is what I'm going to use it for. It's for underneath my eyes. I think that's what it's for. That's what I'm going to use it for. Um, I have not used a brush like this to contour before. This is all going to be new. So we are going to be trying out all of these today. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I do not use a brush to um, carve out my brows. So when I get a pomade, I will definitely try it out then. But I'm going to go ahead and line my brows with my pencil and I'll get right back. And now we're to the point where I need to fill them in. I need... Um, I'm going to use the concealer I've been using to carve out my brows just because I like the thickness of it so I'm going to go ahead and just continue to use that to carve them out but to fill them in I'm going to use this brush and it's a very thin brush so it might be um, easier for some people to do so. The brushes retail for $49 um, in case you were wondering they are Morphe to me, it was not that bad for the name that's on them. Or, is my cat in here? Nope, my cat wants in here, so you're going to probably hear the door open here in a minute. But I, I like the brush so far. It applies the product very well. And I'm going to go ahead and spoolie this side, and I'll do this side off camera so I can get my cat in here. So I'm just going to use the spoolie on the side. This feels really nice. And just... Ooh. I usually just use the spoolie on the other side of my brow pencil. But this feels... That was easy. This is definitely going to need cleaned a lot though. <laughs> I live for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other brow. Shape them real quick off camera and then I'll get back to foundation. Okay, so now for foundation. I usually pump it onto my hand and then I take my beauty blender but since I'm using a brush I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply it with my finger on directly onto my face don't usually do this so it's a little, a little weird for me I'm using the NARS Radiant Longwear uh, foundation this is a very full coverage foundation. I usually use a lot of this, but um, definitely don't need to. But if you're like me, you like the fullest of full coverage. So I'm just going to take the brush. What is this actually? It is the JS1. This is the, does it even have a name? JS7. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to go in a stippling motion. Well, we'll just, we'll play around. Well, it's flinging everywhere, that's for sure. It actually distributes it really nicely. 
extra circular motions. Alrighty, so sorry if you can hear my brother and my boyfriend in the background, they're playing video games, and if this seems choppy at any point, I have to um, stop recording and restart because there's some vulgar language. So I'm going to try to talk louder, so if they are cussing, um, we won't hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to concealer. So I am using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have foundation all over my hands. Now I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this out, so we're just going to go ahead and pop this on. I have not opened this yet, so Ooh, this is very cooling okay I'm just gonna go ahead and do this side real quick and then um, I'll do the rest off camera because they don't seem to stop I'll have to go out there and say something so excuse me that blended out really easy holy crap that looks really nice actually I like how that looks underneath my eye I needed a lighter um, concealer too because the concealer I have been using is like the exact same shade as my face so I'm gonna go ahead and use my pretty vulgar setting powder um, but I'll come back and set once I concealed the rest of my face okay so now I'm gonna set um, my under eyes and the rest of my face so I'm going to take a little bit of my setting powder in the cap and I'm going to go through it and make sure there's no creases. I'm going to take the JS2. And my cat is in my dresser, but it's okay. And I'm just going to pack. Oh my good gracious, if you'd see my cat right now. What are you doing? Why are you in my dresser? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> She's uh, very interesting. I like the feeling of the brushes. They're actually really, really soft. I'm going to go ahead and uh, blend this out on top here. And I'm just gonna set. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this brush. I do um, really like this, so let's just go ahead and finish the rest of the face. So next, I'm gonna be setting my eyebrows. I have setting powder all over my shirt, but I'm gonna be setting my eyebrow with the Gimme Brown in shade two. I usually use three, but um, I get told my eyebrows look a little dark, so I went up a shade. It actually looks much nicer cats back there and then um so I went ahead and bronzed my face I used the Too Faced uh, chocolate uh, soleil thing in uh, milk chocolate it is a matte um, bronzer and I just used the JS2 to uh, bronze it up. Now this little brush here is supposed to be a contour brush so let me find me a good contour shade. I'm gonna go in my uh, Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to be going in the middle shade with this brush. This is supposed to be really good for getting in there so we'll, uh, we'll try it. I'm up for trying different things. I would probably use this more for like a highlight than I would contour though. I actually kind of like this. I have another brush from Too Faced that looks a lot like this. That um, is a highlighter brush. Nifty. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out and do blush and I'll be right back. Okay, so at this part we are going to be doing eyeshadow. So I am using the Dubian palette by Juvia's Place. It is a nice... A neutral palette. I got this for uh, Valentine's Day from my lovely sister and brother. So we're just going to go ahead and dip on in. So I'm going to try starting off with the... No, we can't. I'm going to go in with the uh, JS31 and I'm actually going to go in to this shade right here. This one don't have name... has does not have names on the um, palette or on the sheet that I've taken out. And I'm just going to go in and 
by these palettes I tried um, the warrior palette if you guys seen and I was actually debating between this one and the warrior one and my sister um, went ahead and got me this one for Valentine's Day I was like oh, thank you Cheyenne So we're just going to be popping this in the, the um, crease, just kind of feathering it out. So now I'm going to go in with the JS5 and I'm going to go in with this deeper shade here. And we're going to be popping this um, really good in the um, crease and the outer area. I'm now going to be taking a JS41 and I'm going into this light shade here to put on my lid. I did spray this with a little bit of Fix Plus like I always do and we're going to just fall out like crazy with these. Mainly just the shimmery ones. But this is really pretty. Holy crap. I can't remember if I said this already, but these uh, palettes do retail for about 20 bucks, depending on the palette you get. And I think it is 100% worth it. Because, um, $20 is a lot to put on eyeshadow for, um, some people. But a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that I do own are about, they're all in their like 40s, 50s. So when I see a nice eyeshadow palette for about 20 bucks, I'm all for it. So next I'm going to be taking the uh, the last, uh, well not the last one, I have one more. But the last eyeshadow brush is the J8, or JS6. I'm going to be going into this really deep shade here to blend and make it deeper out here. I'm not going to go too heavy handed because it's probably about as much as I'll use and then I'll blend it out. I'll stay recording for this part just so you guys can see what I'm doing. And sometimes we mess up and we need to go back and fix it. That's okay. And then I'm going to take um, the brush from before and just kind of go around, do some blending. I don't think I'm going to be wearing eyelashes today be just because my eyes are kind of bothering me. But I am going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the, um, not that one, that one's too dark. We're actually going to go in with this orangier shade right here on my lower lash line and then we'll deepen it up as we go. I really like orangier shades. And then I'm going to go in with the shade that I put in my crease the first time on this brush, just using the same one to deepen it up. And then I'm probably going to go in the darker shade too. Go ahead and do that darker shade. The darkest shade, I'm just going to take on that same brush. This is a JH38. Uh, just to deepen that up and I might actually add more to the uh, top to add a deeper effect. It's like black, but it's not. It's like a really deep brown, but it's coming off black, which is weird. So I'm gonna be following these same steps until I get it to my desired like, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add mascara and probably lashes just because I feel naked without them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. So now we are setting the face. I'm going to use my All Nighter Setting Spray. And 
And then we are going to highlight. I'm going to use, um, I feel like I need to use the Jeffree Star highlighter. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my, um, my personal favorite highlight combo. And that is in the Ofra Trio with uh, Pillow Talk and Blissful. I'm just going to take the brush like I would any other highlighting brush when I highlight. And I'm just going to go back and forth between the two sides to make a uh, very pretty highlight. Well, I kind of like how small the brush is. This brush is just a little bit smaller than what I would normally use and I'm not mad about it. And that is what I do for my highlight. It is pretty disco ball so I don't know if you guys are a fan of how I do it like that but I'm a fan on how I do it like that so. Let's go ahead and highlight my areas. I've like destroyed this palette. It's like, I'll show you. Look how like destroyed it is on the pans. I use this a lot to highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corner and brow bone with the JH42, just with Pillow Talk, not with the combination, just with the one. Then I go through and blend it out too. And finally for my lips, I have this ultra glossy lip from ColourPop in the shade uh, Here's To You. It's a very pink. Uh, just gloss. I've not swatched it or anything yet, so we're just gonna. Oh, that is a nifty applicator. Is this supposed to be a brush? Okay, this applicator was really hard at first, and now it's not. This has like a cinnamon kind of. I don't know, like a bakery kind of smell. Alright, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. I loved the brushes. I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the lip gloss. I love everything that I tried today. So I do uh, recommend the brushes and the uh, eyeshadow palette 110% and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.